All right, so iOS 26 is here with that new rumored redesign and a lot of those other changes. Super excited, let's jump right into it. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel. We have a ton, a ton of WWDC coverage, including watchOS in the next video. So make sure to stay tuned. We're at gorgeous Apple Park, let's go. So aside from the obvious design language changes with liquid glass, this first build of iOS 26 has a build number of 23A5260N. And that N signifies that we are a long ways off from an official release, unsurprisingly, simply because of this being a first beta and not being released for months until about the September timeframe. If you are looking at upgrading your phone, if you have an iPhone 11 or newer, you will be able to download this beta and use it on your devices. Now, we do have a couple of changes here in addition to the new games app that brings Game Center, Library, and Arcade together. So games will be coming soon, but it is not part of this initial beta that will be coming in a future release. One of the big changes is now in the messaging app, and you can see just how different this looks. When you jump around and take a look at the UI here, you have info, you have backgrounds where you can actually go ahead and select different styles, change the color, and actually just select it as you would like. You can see all the photos here, links, documents, it is all right here. So in addition to changing the background on individual message threads or group messages, you can now do poll polls also and do group chats with typing indicator showing so you know somebody is actually using it or not. Beyond the changes in messaging apps, visual intelligence now does on-screen content with screenshots command. So what I mean by that is if we go ahead and just open this right here and you do your simple screenshot command, you can see how this looks a little different. You can switch to thumbnail viewer that says screenshots will temporarily appear in the lower left corner of your screen. If you don't want this new interface, that's kind of how it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out right now. And then when it's live, again, doesn't seem to be right now in beta one, but you will be able to not only resize, but you can actually search with visual intelligence. Now, what you're gonna see actually also here is in the music app, there are some subtle changes here as well. Say we're gonna play the Carter Six. We'll go ahead and play a song here. And what you'll be able to do now is when you lock your device and it's playing, you can actually take advantage of full screen artwork. Let me go ahead and turn this Wi-Fi off really quick. And let's play Welcome to the Carter. And you can see here's one of the other changes as well, new splash screen that says audio mix is on. Like a DJ, audio mix knows when to seamlessly transition one song to the next, find it in your player with shuffle, repeat, and autoplay. So we'll say okay. The song's playing now. We'll go ahead and lock our device. And then you can jump right into it again. And there are options again where you can have the artwork take advantage of the full display screen. Uh, you do have live translations for messages, FaceTime, and the phone app. Those are gonna be some other big changes there as well. You can also make sure to see the changes in the phone app itself. Check it out, there's a ton under the hood here. We will be doing a deeper dive once we get back inside to give you a better look at everything. But as far as a quick first glance, you can see just all of these changes. One other thing I do wanna show you though is iPhone storage. This download came in at 15 gigabytes, which is obviously massive. So if we scroll down, you can see iOS right now is taking up 20 gigs and total system data is 31 gigabytes. Uh, that's pretty insane. Out of this, a Apple Intelligence is using 6.42 gigs, iOS is 13 for a total of 20. So let me know what you guys think about this. Are you a fan of what Apple has done here for WWDC and iOS, unifying the numbering and design language across the platforms? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.